If you're just getting started in model rocketry or you want to give a gift for somebody, a starter set is the way to go. It contains everything you're going to need to get your rocket up into the air. You'll come with a rocket kit, the launch pad, the launch controller, a pack of motors, and the recovery wadding, which protects the parachute from the heat of the ejection charge. Now, the, the launch controller and the launch pad can be reused over and over again for your other rockets. So this is a basic kit that get, is a building block for future rockets. Now the rocket kit itself can be used over and over again too. Um, you just have to get it back between flights. This is uh, a good rocket uh, for starters because it contains plastic fins, a pre-colored body tube, and a plastic nose cone. And it's going to be stable and safe when you launch it. So. Um, I'd like to uh, show you how to go about launching a model rocket, and uh, that's what you're going to see next. You've built your rocket, and now we're ready to prep it for flight. Now you can do the prepping right on the launch field, like I'm going to do right here. Uh, so go ahead and pull your nose cone off and pull the parachute out. And the first thing we're going to do is going to prep the parachute, and we're going to insert the wadding. Now the wadding is a flame-proof material that protects the parachute from the heat of the ejection charge. And it comes in sheets, and you'll need at least three sheets. Just loosely crumple it up and slide it into the tube, one at a time. Okay. And try to push it in as far as you can. Now your parachute First thing you want to do is make sure that all the lines are attached and nothing is tangled here towards the nose cone where it is attached to the, to the rocket. Okay, the wind is going to kind of catch it on you, so just kind of hold it like this. And find the apex of the parachute and pull that forward, stretch all your lines out. Now ideally, you want to fold it. You don't want to just crumple it up and shove it into the rocket. And so by folding it, we keep all of our lines straight. And on a windy day, this is going to be a challenge, but typically it's not too bad. All right, now when you fold it, try to get all your lines to one area of the rocket. I got a fly running around here to me today and just keep folding it in half. Did I get them? I probably made them mad. <laughs> I face those same challenges as you do. <laughs> okay, so we got a nice long parachute here, and you can see I've got a nice spike. And then take your lines and just kind of loosely lay them in the middle, and then fold it just once long ways. And then loosely roll it kind of like a cigar shape and insert that into the tube. Now by folding it we help ensure that it will fully inflate. Okay so now the rocket is almost ready and we're going to open up of our pack of rocket engines and this contains the igniters plus the engines. So we're going to take out a rocket engine. Now the igniters are usually inside the instruction sheet, and here they are. There's three igniters, and I'll just put them back into the bag along with the spare motors. Now the rocket engine itself has two ends. The one with the small hole is the nozzle end, and that goes on the bottom of the rocket, obviously. So go ahead and slide that in, and there's a little engine hook there that will latch over the end of the motor once you get it all the way in. Take the igniter out, remove the little plastic tube. We're going to use that, so don't throw it away. Spread the igniter wires apart. Insert the black end into the nozzle as far as it will go. Now take this. This is going to be a plug to kind of hold this in so it doesn't fall out. You got to kind of smash it down and fold it in half so that when you insert it into the nozzle, 
it kind of expands and holds it in place. All right, so now the, the igniter is in the rocket and we're ready to take it to the launch pad. Our rocket is now prepped and we're ready to launch. So we've got our launch pad set up and we're going to slide the launch rod through the launch lugs on the side of the rocket. Now the purpose of these is to guide the rocket in one direction until it builds up sufficient speed where the fins will take over and keep the rocket going straight. So never put the rocket on the, pad, on the ground by itself because it will go in a direction you don't want it to go. So make sure that the rocket sits off the pad just a little bit so that when you hook up the clips they don't touch the pad. Now take your clips and stretch out your wire as far as it will go. Um, pass the clips through the launch pad like this. That way when the rocket takes off they don't get yanked up in the air with it. Now each clip is going to be attached to the wires from the igniter. So when you do that just kind of wrap it around there and spread them apart so that they stay as far apart as possible. And I also like to give the clips a little squeeze so that they make sure that they're touching the wire. Also make sure that the clips, the metal parts, doesn't touch the blast deflector or you'll get a short and you won't launch your rocket. So now we're ready to launch the rocket and make sure all the spectators are pretty far away. Okay? Pretty so obvious though, right? Now, now your launch controller has a safety key. That's this right here. If you're working with small kids, keep the safety key in your own pocket. Don't let them have it until they're ready to launch the rocket. When you put the safety key in the hole, there should be a red light that comes on. This lets us know that the system is armed and ready to launch. So when we push that button, the rocket's going to take off. So first thing you want to do is make sure that there's no spectators in the area. Keep them back at least 20 feet for small rockets and even further back if you're launching a bigger rocket. You also want to check the sky and make sure that there's no low-flying aircraft in the area. We don't want to scare the pilots. When everything is ready, you can go ahead and give a loud countdown and then push the button to launch the rocket. So we're going to do five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 